Welcome to number 52 of our Fundamental Supersized Business Strategy. Sharon Hornelson here, and I'm talking about over a few weeks' time. I'm not sure how many I'll do, but I've got a huge list of them that have come up for me, things that we've applied and used in my businesses as well as other people's businesses to help us to grow and build and supersize. And these strategies apply to different industries across different business types. And sometimes you just have to tweak them. To, okay, you always have to tweak them to make it your own. Anything you learn from anybody, you can apply, but if the way it works for them might not necessarily be the way it works for you because we're all unique. We're all different. We all have different skills, different strengths, and we are all building our own unique special business in the world to make the world a better place. So HQ content is our strategy today, the HQ content strategy. And HQ doesn't stand for headquarters and headquarters headquarters of whatever business you have creating the content. It stands for high quality content. What is high quality content? High quality content is not defined by you, your marketing department. It is defined by your customer. High quality, high value information, entertainment, things that inspire, entertain, and educate your ideal customers and clients. That is the definition of high quality content. Uh, do we learn about that and then make it our own and think it's our own when we're creating it within our business? Of course we do. That's human nature. But the truth is our brand, our image, our culture, things that we think we control in our business, a lot of times we don't. Whether we have a brand or do branding or not, the world has an impression of who we are, what we stand for, what's important to us, what our identity is, even if we're not aware of that as a business owner, as human, etc. So. I say it's more fun and more productive to have an active role in that than to abdicate it to hoping that the world defines you the way you choose to be defined. So we're going to create content on blog posts, in articles, in freebies, in videos, on different social media platforms, on our email lists, in our websites, in our funnels, or whatever you choose to use to promote and have a digital online presence, we're gonna make sure that we are creating content that resonates with the people we want to buy our products and services, the people that we wanna to serve to make the world a better place. So love to know how you're doing this. Do you have a content strategy? Uh, we definitely do. We have several based on the industry and based on, well, they're always tweaked for the different industry and different businesses that we're in or that we're working with. But uh, nowadays, I don't think you can get away without creating content and sharing information that entertains, educates, and inspires your customers to act. All right, that's our topic for today. Share your take on it in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another fundamental supersized business strategy that you could use in your business starting as early as today just by starting small and then rolling it out in your organization. All right, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.